Hello and welcome. In this video I want to talk about things related to water. Water making it rise and sink, water and depth, water and bounding boxes, water and cameras, water and shaders, water and surface properties, water and glitches. Water that can rise and sink is basically a water brush that has been turned into a funk door. I've made a tutorial on doors. If you don't know how to do it, please view that tutorial first. This screenshot shows the attributes I set on the funk door water brush. It is important that you set the targeted checkbox, otherwise a player can move the brush by pressing use while inside that water brush. I have also enabled the toggle checkbox to prevent the water from returning to its original position. However, if you want the water to be on a timer and return automatically each time, you can use the attribute weight followed by a number which represents the seconds this water brush waits before returning to its original position. There is a difference between the various depths. On depth 43 nothing is submerged. This is also the height of the player camera when crouching. Note that the camera height changes if the player is in third person. Then the player can move the camera independently from his body. On depth 44 the camera of the player is submerged when crouching. This is also when you notice the first effects on your screen. And the first glitch. The screen is not tainted in the color of the water. It is only expanded and contracted a little bit. In the co-op mod this was fixed. On depth 49 the camera and the entire bounding box of the player is submerged in water if the player is crouching. On depth 85 nothing is submerged if the player is standing. 85 is also the offset of the player camera while standing. On depth 86 the player camera is submerged in water. This is also where finally the screen gets tainted in the color of the water. On depth 96 the entire bounding box of the player is submerged. Nothing else has really changed. A download link for the example maps is in the description of this video. Water is usually created from a brush to which on all sides the Nord Raw texture was applied. Then on the water surface a water texture was applied. That water texture is usually part of a shader which contains special properties which will set the brush its contents to non-solid and water. There are other content flags like slime and lava. Press S to access the surface properties window for the currently selected texture or shader. If your water is made out of multiple surfaces, 
and you have a misalignment in the textures, select all water surfaces with the texture and reapply the texture. If you apply the water texture to a patch, the contents of that patch will not turn into water. It will look like water, but it will not behave like water. A patch or a primitive can be created from a selected brush by clicking on Curve Primitives and, in this case, Cone. Be very careful when you use brushes to create a waterfall. Here is what can happen. Since a patch is hollow, nothing can happen there. If you want to have more effects, the best course of action would be to use a HUD in conjunction with scripts. You can add a sound speaker to create an ambient sound near your water. You might need to place multiple sound speakers. Make sure you use a backslash when you enter the path. Do not use the forward slash which is common on Windows. Water sounds can be found in Pack 30 inside the base folder. You can open PK3 files with a archiver like 7-zip. In this playlist is a tutorial video from Hazard Modding explaining how to open PK3 files. Please look it up if you haven't opened yet PK3 files. That's it. I hope this was useful to you. Bye.